Tiriti. Greetings, young students. My name is Lucian, and I am one of the foremost Greek writers and satirists of the ancient world. I am here today to tell you of a very brave and great man who gave his life to the Athenian cause. His name was Pheidippides. Pheidippides, you say? What a strange name. Pheidippides is the man who gave his life <coughs> to the Athenian cause. Are you familiar with the term marathon? It is a Greek word. And you know full well what a marathon is. I shall relate to you the story of the brave Pheidippides and his experience between Marathon and Athens. And you shall learn why we have the word Marathon. Follow me with learning. We Greeks had been at a war with Persia in 490 BCE. A huge battle in the port city of Marathon occurred then, and the Athenian army, outnumbered four to one, launched a suicidal offensive and badly beat the surprised Persians. At the end of that bloody day, 6,400 Persian bodies lay dead on the field while a mere 192 Athenians had been killed. The surviving Persians fled to sea and headed south to Athens, where they hoped to attack the city before the Greek army could assemble there. Now, Pheidippides was part of that battle, and as the official messenger, he had to run 26 miles to Athens in about three hours to inform the Athenian elders of victory and to warn them of an imminent Persian onslaught by sea. I've been running now for five years, and that's given me a lot of time to think about various role models. And the one person I keep coming back to is Pheidippides. I mean, think about it. The man killed himself running a marathon, the very first one. 26.2 miles. That's something that I only dreamed to do. And what's more, Pheidippides ran it wearing a sandal. Or maybe he even ran it barefoot. No arch support here. Just a piece of dried out leather. He didn't have these nice, cool Nike Pegasus shoes. No arch supports. And in addition, he probably ran it naked. Mm-hmm. Naked. When the exhausted, dehydrated Pheidippides finally approached Athens' leaders, he could utter only the words, Joy to you, we've won. And at their feet, he then died. And so, dear students, we conclude the story of Pheidippides, brave and resolute Athenian who gave his life for the cause. And now I end by saying goodbye. And in Greek, the word is yasas. Goodbye, yasas.